Now let's focus on technology and how it's being used in Vancouver classrooms. At the beginning of the school year, we showed you how iPod Touches are being used to teach math to third graders at King Elementary School, but these interactive devices are also being used at Fort Vancouver High School to teach students how to tackle more complex mathematic concepts. Um, today we're doing congruent lines and looking at the degrees of the angles. Math can be daunting for some students, especially at 7.30 in the morning. But in Rainy Berry's math lab, students are taking charge of their own learning. They love the iTouch days. On their iTouches, students watch videos that guide them through math problems instead of hearing a lecture. Um, it shows us step by step and it pretty much teaches, or teaches us all the things we need to know how to do it. So students who get it the first time can just get done and be done, but the students who are having problems and typically might not want to raise their hand because they're embarrassed can just go back and watch the video again. I can replay over and over and over again until I get it, and when the teacher explains it to us, she just explains it probably like once or twice, and we don't really get it sometimes, so I think the iPad is really good for us. A class full of self-directed students also gives Miss Barry the time to give individual help to those who need it. But sometimes, she's the one who needs a hand. So when I first started taking the MacBook to the charging cart and trying to sync the eye touches, I could usually get about half of them to sync up, but I couldn't get all of them. And the students were able to come to my aid and say, oh, here's what you forgot to do. And so it was very empowering to them to realize that there were things that they would be able to teach me this year. That kind of natural interest in technology has other benefits for students. It makes me um, want to be in class more and it helps me I just stay in my seat and just listen or do what it has to be done. Well, it's fun and it teaches us while we're having fun. This pilot program was funded by a grant. Miss Barry makes many of the videos she uses herself and hopes she'll get a chance to reuse them in the coming years.